Welcome back, treasure seekers. Are you ready for day two? Today, we're gonna to talk about how God hears us. Let's go join Trail Guide Aiden and Kaylee the Navigator. Hey, Kaylee Navigator. Hey, Trail Guide Aiden. Man, yesterday was a total blast. I know, I don't know how day two is gonna to top it, but I'm sure excited. All right, you ready to go get the two? You bet. All right, north. South. Let's go get east. And let's go get west. Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ is, is the best. best. Come on. Marching round and round, let's go, let's go. The seekers marching round and round, let's go, let's go. The seekers marching round and round, for we are all treasure bound. And we all go seeking out for the way and the truth and the life. And we all go seeking out for the way and the truth and the life. Hi, Mark and Martha. Martha. Hi, treasure seekers. And hi, archaeologist Miguel. Hi. Are you ready for day two? Of course I am. What do you have for us today, Mark and Martha? We have an amazing craft. Today we're going to learn about how God hears you and guides your way. It's so cool. Are you ready? Yeah! yeah! All right, everybody, let's get started. Today we're making a map. We start with a little curly cue in the corner and then head across the page. Down, another wavy line across the page, and then finishing off with the last quarter of our map. Then we'll create our island with a little cross in the center, and then add a little compass with our north, south, east, and west. Then we'll take our crayon and color our cross yellow, our island green, and our ocean blue. Now we can hold our crayons a bunch of different ways, whether it's like a pencil, or turning it on its side and shuffling it around. Either way, it's a great effect, and it's a lot of fun. Now, if you want to add fishies, waves, sharks, whales, pirate ships, anything you'd like, you are welcome to add it. It's all up to your imagination. Now here comes the fun part. Place your coffee grounds in a ramekin. Take some warm water, pour it about halfway up. Stir until it's fully dissolved. Then we're going to take a napkin or a paper towel preferably. Crumple it up and get it soaking wet. Don't be afraid to get your hands dirty here. And let the sloshing begin. We're going to cover and soak the entire page with our coffee. This is gonna give us an awesome effect of the map looking old and worn. Creating a map is something that's a wonderful reminder for us that God hears us and when he does, he sends us guidance, just like a map would. Whenever we pray for help, or we pray for an answer, God is there. To finish off, if you'd like to rip a few corners, just to give it that extra special touch, go for it. And you're done. Great work. Hears us and guides us. I have a perfect spot for this. Okay. Oh, did you want to buy that? Perfect. perfect. Y'all ready? Yeah. North, south, east. Let's go get west. Jesus Christ is the best. Seekers marching round and round. Let's go. Let's go. The seekers marching round and round. Let's go. Let's go. The secrets marching round and round, for we are all treasure bound. And we all go seeking out for the way and the truth and the life. Hey guys, it's Trail Guide Aiden, and welcome back to Catholic Survival Skills 101. 
Today we're going to be talking about how to spot a priest and a deacon. So one key thing that we need to know, a priest and a deacon both wear what we call a stole, but a deacon wears it over his shoulder, kind of to his waist. But a priest wears it over his neck that drapes down on both sides. The next time you go to Mass, can you spot who's celebrating it? Let's hit it! Let's go, the secret's marching round and round, let's go, let's go, the secret's marching round and round, for we are all treasure bound. And we all go seeking out the way and the truth and the life. Alright everyone, coach says, get down and give me one push up. Great job, alright. Next, coach says, get down and give me a nice deep squat. Coach wants to know if we are hardcore. No, no, no. No. And they all go seeking out for the way and the truth and the life. Everyone take five. What's up, guys? Hey, Coach. Hey, Georgie. Hey. Are you ready for day two? Yep. What activity do you got for us today, Coach? Yeah, well, today we're going to talk about how God hears you. But do you hear God? Let's get into an obstacle course. Yeah! yeah. All right, crew, let's get ready for the jungle gym. This game is an obstacle course ready to test all your skills. Here's how we're going to start. You'll have a cup in your hand, jumping five times in place, then raising your hand saying, God hears us, you're going to move on to the next obstacle, which is tossing them all into a basket. Once you make it, you can collect your candy and move on to the next obstacle course. Find your teddy bear or your stuffed animal. Make sure you raise it up high and say, God loves me. Check under the bucket and grab your candy. The next piece is heading off to the dance party. Find any cool items or any other dance pieces there. Make sure you put them on and do your best. Shake and groove hula. Place the ending hat on your head and celebrate hardcore style. Wow! Awesome! Man, that obstacle course was so much fun. I know, I couldn't hear anything over all the noise. Yeah, well, when your life is loud, I just want you to know that God, He hears you. Yeah. yeah. Well, so thanks, Coach. Yeah, of course. All right, Seekers, you guys ready? Yeah. yeah. North! South, east, west, Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ is, is the best. best. Let's hit it. All right, everyone, back in line. Let's go. Give me some genuflex. The secret's marching round and round. Let's go. Let's go. The secret's marching round and round. Let's go. Let's go. The secret's marching round and round. For we are all treasure bound. We all go seeking out the way and the truth and the life. Hey guys, geologist Georgie here with Saint of the Day. Today's saint is Saint Monica. Saint Monica's family caused her great worry and sadness. Her husband and mother-in-law had hot tempers and disagreed with the Catholic faith. Her son Augustine made many bad choices, and this caused Monica to suffer for years. He even lied and ran away from her to Rome. Monica continued to be a good example and prayed constantly for them. Eventually, all of her family became Catholic. Monica helped her family find Jesus and his church through her constant prayers. Saint Monica, God granted your prayers. Pray for us that we may never lose hope that God hears and treasures our prayers. He will answer in the right way and time. Amen. All right, guys, ready for grace? Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Here's to the one we love the most. He's hip, he's cool, he's quite a dude. We thank him for our daily food. Now it's time to raise a toast to the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen! What's up, guys? Welcome back to Vine and Dive. Uh, Gabby, come on, they're, they're here. Yeah. Uh huh. Gabby? Yeah, in a second. Hello? Gabby! What? Uh, they're here. Oh! Oh! Oh, I am so sorry. Um, I've, I've just been really distracted today. There's a lot going on in the diner and I'm a little bit stressed. Again, I'm so sorry. Honestly, it's, it's fine, okay? I know you're not always gonna be able to hear me, but I know God always will, even when you're not hanging around. Exactly. 
God hears you. He listens to every thought, every prayer, and everything that you say. So even when I'm not around, God is always there to listen. But I promise from now on, I'm all ears. Well, that is good. And now you can go grab some snacks so we could do today's snack. All right. Let's do Jewel Mix. Okay guys, here's what we're gonna need. You can choose your own type of jello, any color, a fruit of your choice. We're gonna go with grapes, and we're also gonna have some of this pineapple. And to add on top, a couple marshmallows. Come on. And away we go. Let's dump out our jello from our cups. Once the jellos have been removed from the cups, you can discard the cups in a waste bin. Then go back and start chopping up your jello. Cubing up, whoop, careful, it's a little slippery. There we go. Now, once we've got it relatively chopped up as best as we can, we get to add our favorite fruits. We chose pineapple, red grapes, cut of course, and green grapes. And then to top it all off, we added some multicolored marshmallows. Then you mix it and enjoy Jewel Mix. Mm, this one really reminds me that God sees me as a treasure. And now we have ourselves some Jewel Mix. Order up. Fine and fine. Man, I'm so ready to grub. I wonder what they got today. It appears to be Jewel Mix. Oh, mm. yummy. Oh my gosh, Jello, my favorite. Grapes. 